time is it? You know what time it is. Just time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just right there. Right down there. Go hit it. <laughs> it is time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. Or a review. Right, y'all. I know so many have been waiting for this. We have season, what is it, 25 review of Mahabharat. We only have a few seasons left, so I'm at the tail. We're going to finish this. We are going to finish this this time. I finished season 25. I even gave a little review yesterday, like a quick little, you know, uh, short about, oh, we'll get to it, about what I think is the most emotional death in the whole episode. And I haven't even finished it, but I was in tears. It was so emotional. Anyway, let's get to where this season started. Of course, the war's going on. We're in the middle of it. And it starts out, I mean, Beam, uh, they have him. He's killing all the brothers, ain't he? He's killing all of, like, the the, the mean prince, like, you know, the blind prince's son. He killed, like, 20 of them. He, like, right there. Like, they had this whole scheme, right, that they quil killed 20. And then, you know, you got the blind prince back at home and, and Gandaria's wife. And they're getting like the up to dates from that guy who could see it. And they're going crazy over there. Well, I can't blame them. I mean, right one day, 20 of your sons died. I can't blame them. Like you're going crazy. But, I mean, Gandaria's really, she she's so upset. Like she banned the Mahadev. She was like, anything to do with Mahadev, I'm done with them. Not in and no place in his temple. You can't, no temples. Like none of that. I was like, she's, she's giving up their gods because she's in so much grief over this. And then, <laughs> and then, oh, Uncle Vidor, v Vidor, what did he come up and say? Because he came up talking to the blind prince and the blind prince is all, oh, I can't believe it. And and Vidor gave him a little bit of, of uh, knowledge, like a little bit of truth bomb over here. He was like, it pretty much, what did he say? He was like, uh, you, it's pretty much what you reap what you sow, right? He said, you spread life, like you spend your life deceiving people. That's how you're going to end the life. Because remember, he was like, they're, they, they're scheming, they're tricking, this is unfair. And he was like, this is how they live their life. They live their life deceiving people, and that's how they're going to, you know, you reap what you sow. That's how now they're reaping what they did. They they going hardcore. I mean, they're having right there beams killing the the brothers right in front of the the mean gut prince, and they and then they put him in a globe. Right? Wasn't it the son Ab Abhi? I might just call him Abhi. Abhi Manu Manu. I just gonna call him Abhi. <laughs> you know, Arjun's son. He put him like in a globe, so he couldn't even do nothing. All he can was be there in that globe and watch Bean kill the brothers. Oh, I was like hardcore. Hardcore. And then here comes Karn because you're like him and Abby. They, I mean, they're going back and forth with their arrows and boom, boom, boom. And even Karn was like, oh, you got some skills. But of course, Karn's got more skills than him. I mean, he's older and more, you know, trained and more experienced with it. But still, he even was like, he was, you can even tell he was a little in shock. But, I mean, he was going to deliver that blow to him. Like, he had the arrow. But then he started seeing visions, right? First, I thought it was really cunty. I thought it was really cunty on the battlefield. I was like, cunty, what are you doing there? I know you want to save your grandson, but cunty, get off. And then I was like, oh, he's seeing cunty, like visions of her. That's just his conscious. He knows she shouldn't be fighting on that side fighting against his brothers and that's his nephew there and everything that he's about to shoot at. He knows that. That's his conscious seeing country. And Prince was mad about that though. He's like, why did you kill him? Why did it? And he was like, I'm just in awe of <laughs> You think that was a lot? I don't know. I don't think Carmen would lie. I think he might have been a little bit in awe of his skills. But that's what he said. I was just in awe of his skills, how great of a warrior he is and everything. And I was like, oh, I don't know. You ain't going to tell him about seeing visions, <laughs> you know? And then, of course, like the day was over. And uh, they go back to the camps and Arjun's there. Tell, oh, he's telling his son how proud he is and, and all that. Oh, it was, ugh, breaks my heart even now. No, even to know now what happens. Because there's a whole thing. And then there's his, what's the little wife's name? 
a to you Torah, you Torah, Abby's little wife, and she don't want him to fight no more. Like nobody does. His mom don't even uh, Drapati. You know she don't want him. But she's like, well, as long as he's got that amulet, because he said that amulet protected him. But then of course the next day, here they go off to war. Tell them all bye. What's on the ground? But Abby's amulet. That right then I was like, oh, this is the end. This is the. I knew right then. And then you find out that little Utah was pregnant. On top of it, he he's got this gonna be the end for him, and then she's pregnant. Well, I mean that's one thing because they're like, oh, that's the end of the line for him. But no, he's got like his baby coming. So this ain't the end of the line for the Pandavas. They got they got buns in the oven, you know. But what happened? So then they, I mean, they go off to war, and they listen. The other that Kuro, they ready for this time. They got that whole chakra thing, that circle thing formation. And then also, what do they got? Who is this? This J guy shows up. I don't even remember him. But he don't like the Pandavas. He was there. He's powerful too. I was like, who is this guy? I, I must have forgot who he is. That J something. And he was fighting like all four of the Pandavas. Had them all on the ground. I was like, this guy's powerful. I mean, Beam? Arjun was, Arjun's off somewhere else, but it was like Beam, the two twins, and then Yudi. They're all they, against this J, and, and this J's taking them. Everybody knew that was a trap for Abhi. Because here's the four Pandavas over here, you know, fighting this J guy. Who I still can't understand how they overpower him. And then there's Abhi, and, the, and the, the, they open that circle for him. They're like, come on in. You know, like, everybody's like, don't do it. And Abby, I mean, Abby, he's like right there. He's like about to do it. And you're like, why? Well, then they were like, they were like, you either do this because the, the army's about to be annihilated, right? They only have so many battalions left. They're about to crush him. He said, you can either save your army or come in here to circle of death and, and you're going to die. Like, you know, he's going to die if he goes in there. That's the con Abby. Ugh. He's like his father with the valor and the honor and just the caring about the people. Oh, I didn't want him to do it though. I was like, don't do it, Abby, don't. But I understood why. And that, I don't even want to talk about this scene because look, I'm going to start crying again because that was like torture. He's like in there and they're all, I mean, that that's what they even said at the end. Oh, it took all your most powerful warriors to even take on one little boy. And that's how it was. He's in the circle. And first, what, Karn first shoots him, right? With the arrow. Like, that's the first shot. It was Karn, boom, shot him with the arrow. Trying to take back from his, I was in awe, to like, to show his friend over there, look, I'm on your side and I'm going to shoot my nephew. I'm so mad. I still understand why people like Karn. I'm like, I, I don't. I don't. He will never... God, I'm gonna get upset. <laughs> I'm gonna get upset. And they're just t torturing him now. He's already shot. They done shot him more times. He don't give up though. He don't, he pulled those arrows out. He got back up and fought. I'm like he is. <sighs> and then they wanted to beg. Remember that mean prince? Beg. Oh, oh, I wanted to. I just wanted to kill that mean prince myself. I can't say he's down there. The poor little guy. Like, and that's even your cousin, right? I mean, it's still your family. It's not just a stranger you're doing this to, but he's there kicking him and hitting him with his thing and, and his laugh. I can't stand his laugh. Uh -huh. Oh, just hearing his laugh, I want to just hurt him. Then there goes Shakunti stabbing him in the back and twisting it. Oh, I can't even talk about it. And then that's the part. They're making the Pandavas watch. Like they're outside that circle and all they can do is watch. And they're over there crying, tell, telling him not to do stuff. Oh. Or tell them that, that at this point, like, you're just torturing them. They're like, just end it for him. Take him out of his misery. And none of them, oh, no, he's going to suffer. He's going to suffer till he begs for me. I mean, I guess you can say it's a good thing Karn done. Because Karn was like, I ain't letting him just torture you. He goes over there, hugs him. I was like, he's hugging him. You know that's your nephew. Hugs him. Like, tells him, like, he's proud of him on top of it. And then you're going to kill him. Deliver the final, like, sword in him. Be the one. I'm like, okay, I guess you're taking him out of your misery. But 
I think the worst part of this whole that whole thing where they got emotional was not only seeing what's happening and what they're doing to the boy, but then oh they kept showing like Krishna, like like every stab like Krishna felt and is that that's where I'm gonna start crying <laughs> like right? I mean they show like that was the hardest part like Krishna's over there crying every time he's getting hit and stabbed he like feels his pain. And then over there is Arjun watching it. So Arjun's like, what's going on? I know something bad's happening. He don't even know. But he, but even he knows something's wrong. So he's over there upset while they're doing all this. Oh, that's, that was like the whole scene had me in tears. This was the most emotional part of the whole epic. Had me in tears the whole time. I don't even want to think about it because I'm going to start crying again. <laughs> I'm teared up. Got all those girls celebrating. That mean prince. So we're going to, that's what he's yelling out to them. This, we're going to celebrate his death tonight. And then the crazy younger brother, the mustache crazy brother, he's over there taking the blood off of him, putting him on like war paint. I was like, they over there celebrating and crazy. Not all of them though. I mean, you know Karn's upset already. But you could tell Drona like that hit him hard. I couldn't tell like Drona was not happy I was like what's gonna happen with Drona now is he gonna change sides I don't even know and then it ends like uh, on top of why I'm crying and heartbreaking you're gonna end it like this where Abby like he comes and he visits you know Arjun Arjun thinks he's alive Arjun's over there I'm proud of you son and and our your valor and this and honor and he's like I hope you're proud of me dad and then he finds out that his son's dead. He's like, I have to go. And then he starts seeing all the blood on him and, and the wounds. <sighs> I don't want to start crying again, but I'm telling you, this was, uh, it, it made, it's, uh, you're angry. You're so angry. You just want to kill like the mean prince and all those guys, but you're heartbroken on top of it. This is what happens in war. I mean, this is what they were always war warning right they're like yeah you're gonna go to war and get your revenge you know get your piece of honor back i mean for what was done to you but you're gonna lose loved ones in the process you're gonna lose people you love there's no winners in war there's never winners in war everybody's gonna lose they might be declared winner at the end but they still lost they lost loved ones oh all right <laughs> i can't stop i'm gonna start crying I'm trying my best not to cry through this whole thing, but this was the mo one of the most emotional seasons I have watched. I was in tears of a box of Kleenex next to me, just blowing my nose and getting my tears. I hope it's a little better next season. <laughs> See, we're going to get, what is it? This 25, season 25, we'll have season, we only have three, is it 20? Six twenty-seven, and, and then 28 is like hardly any season like only a few episodes so we're almost done i just hope i have to don't have to go through this again <laughs> all right y'all let me know what you think comments thumbs all that until next time mwah!